Hi there. I'm Alex, a 3D artist in game dev. I guess that you won't know how to create a UGC content for Roblox. Okay, let me show you. So basically we have our guy model. And our task is to make this awesome school helmet for him. I also found a reference for it, which I recommend that you do as well. So let's start making it. First I will create a cube and add a beauty resolution modifier to it so that we can sculpt. I switch sculpt mode, enable symmetry and then we start giving in the basic shape of a school. So now we add a couple of levels uh, and uh, start adding a smaller details like eyes, nose and teeth. And uh, don't rush to move a higher level um, because then it will be inconvenient to edit common forms like this. In general, this process is similar to modeling with clay. We remove it somewhere, add it somewhere or cut it off. And now I'm trying to repeat the shape of the jaw and make a hole for the teeth. This scoop will be our teeth. I just add a subdivision modifier and make a form like this. Make a mirror. Так, let's move a little bit. Modify this form to similar its reference. Mm, I know that I have a wrong form and I fix it a little bit so now our base form is ready but I want to add uh, two more levels and add a sharper angle because the school can be that smooth for this I'll use the scrape brush Just noticed that uh, he should have a bigger eyes. In general, you can always go back to an early stage and uh, correct this, comparing with the concept. So, uh, the same things I want to add. In our teeth, I want to add a in detail to help our scrape brush. So now our high poly model is ready, but you can insert it into Roblox like this. So now I want uh, to move in our high poly model to the high poly collection. Then I make a copy and. Uh, move to low poly 
collection where we will to do retopology. We have a two ways to do this. The first is to simply apply our modifier and make automatic retopology. Done. This add-on is downloaded separately. The link to it will also be in the description. Uh, we will get a quick result and within 4000 polygons, which is a limitation of the Roblox engine. And also we add a shrink wrap to correct our form. So uh, that's a, a quick result, but we will have a couple issue with UV map. Of course, our mesh has uh, twisted and we will have to cut it completely by hand. But in general, it can still be used. Second way, uh, create a plane, leave one point, turn on bindings, such a backface calling project read all elements and add a mirror wire and begin to cover our model with a new grid. Our task is to preserve the shape of the model as much as possible with minimal polygons. This model will not be animated, so it is enough to simply preserve the shape. This uh, process is uh, boring, so I speed it up, just follow the form and everything will work out. Okay, we are done with red topology, which means it's time to make a UV map. We need to select the edge that we want to cut. We selected all the edges and then press the Ctrl E button. Mark seam to mark our seams. Try to do them in invisible place and keep their number to a minimum. Press U, select Unwrap in the menu. Done. Our UV map is ready. Apply a mirror and uh, do it again. Done. Then we should to export our low poly version in our directory with our models. Name him, of course. And text low poly. And the same things we should do with high poly mesh. And let's make a different material for him. Uh, we will use it for ID map. I will show you a little bit later. So, export. And uh, the next step is a baking our maps. We need that for texturing. So let's load our models, high poly version and low poly version. What we should do? We add a new baking group and low poly version. We move to low poly version folder and high poly to high poly. Uh, choose a uh, new output pass. We spell our name and uh, tap to bake button. Then tap to P and uh, now we show the result. 
as we can see we have an issue because our cage is too small we just need to move and uh, it fix it well done i think let's look really good that now we can to bake another maps we should to mark these maps uh, these maps need for us for next part uh, texturing so tap and bake again and uh, our map is done the next step is uh, texturing we should uh, to upload our low poly model and uh, and uh, our baked maps we choose all of them tap add then go to the texture setting and choose our maps for texturing we will use a simple add-on simple diffuse uh, link will be below in description so we add this and stretch uh, it generate a texture based on our maps that to be baked early you look at this it's now look pretty cool we can to change color just pick from our uh, reference and in general it's already done but of course we should to do more details because uh, Roblox can't to support a PBR and all of details we should to bake in our diffuse color. So let's add our holes, a fill layer with a um, palette color and then add black mass. Uh, it's uh, the same thing like in uh, Photoshop. So you can start to paint. Okay, uh, I want to add uh, additional details and uh, for this we will use uh, the material bone stylizer. Uh, just off a base layer and uh, make a change in a dirt layer and change to overlay mode. Yes, that's fine. Yes. More often there is a model with more than one color and in order not to paint it manually, we bake it ID cards for that. We simply add a new layer and in the mask menu select pick color. So now we can change a color by one second. That's easier and that's clear. So our texture is ready and now we can to export. Just pick our folder and uh, mark only base color. Done. Come back to our model and add our texture. Oh, where is it? Uh -huh, fine and export it to FBX format. Let's add our mesh inside object, mesh part, and instead mesh ID choose our school tip node. Done. Okay. And then add our avatar. Then just move our school to the position. And then we will use uh, a set uh, creator plugin. Pick our school next. Pick our avatar next. Choose your type. Next, next, and next. Done. We need again to move 
our school to the position. And then save to Roblox. Oh, let's make a thumbnail, choose pose and uh, tap accept. Done. So now we came to save it to Roblox. Type your title, description and pick avatar item. It's head. Uh, text a text and then we can to submit done so next to the creator dashboard and after painting our asset will be uploaded and that's it i hope this video was really helpful for you subscribe to channel and see you in the next video bye bye